Just like complex numbers, radical expressions can also be rationalized. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, on the first two examples that I have on the board, 1 and 2, you've already seen expression like these before because they are a complex number. And you know that to rationalize complex number, it's either you multiply the numerator by the denominator by i, or multiply the numerator or the denominator by the conjugate. And it has the same principle for rationalizing radical expression. So for number one, two over three i can be rationalized by multiplying i on both sides. So you'll have two i over um, negative three. Now for number two, example number two, I have four over three plus two i. Since you have a real number and an imaginary number, you need the conjugate. So the conjugate of your denominator is 3 minus 2i, and by multiplying them with the conjugate, you'll end up with 12 minus 8i all over 5. And that's how we rationalize using a complex number. Now, how do we rationalize radical expression? For my first example, I have 2 over square root of 3. And since we have square root of 3 in our denominator, we need to get rid of the radical symbol by multiplying the numerator of the denominator by square root of 3. And in the process, we have 2 square root of 3 all over square root of 9. And we know that square root of 9 is simply 3. So therefore, our denominator is now a real number. And we have successfully rationalized the radical expression. So our final answer will be 2 square root of 3 over 3, which is a rational expression of 2 over square root of 3. Now my for, for the, these two examples, they have 3 over 2 square root of 6, and they have 4 square root of 2 all over square root of 3, both of which need to be rationalized because there is a square root symbol or a radical symbol in your denominator. So for number 2, Instead of multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 2 square root of 6, you can simply multiply it by the square root of 6. So by doing so, 3 square root of 6 is 3 square root of 6, and 2 square root of 6 times square root of 6 will give you 2 times 6. Because we know that the property of radicals or square roots is that when you multiply same square root, you can, you're eliminating the radical, so simply using the radicand. So now you have 3 square root of 6 all over 12. And since 3 square root of 6 all over 12 can be simplified, we simplified it into square root of 6 all over 4. And this will be your answer in simplest form. Now for number 3, you have two radicals both in the numerator and the denominator. To avoid confusion, you just need to focus on the denominator. Make sure that the denominator is going to be a real number, so you will multiply the top and the bottom by the denominator, which is square root of 3. And in the process, 4 square root of 2 times square root of 3 will give you 4 square root of 6, and square root of 3 times square root of 3, which gives you square root of 9, and square root of 9 is 3, so your answer is 4 square root of 6 all over 3. And this is your answer because this is already in simplest form. On this third example, we are rationalizing using the conjugate because this time the denominator of your fraction has a real number and a radical um, expression. So to get rid of the radical symbol in your denominator, you need your conjugates, and that's what I did. You already know what conjugates are, so 3 plus square root of 2 has a conjugate of 3 minus square root of 2 all over 3 minus square root of 2. And we are simplifying this expression by multiplying them out, so you have 4 times 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 2 all over 3 plus square root of 2 times 3 minus square root of 2. So the top or the numerator is easy to simplify because all you have to do is to distribute. So distribute 4 and 3, you have 12. 4 and square root of 2, you have 4 square root of 2. And this is pretty much your simplest form in your numerator. Your denominator, you need to simplify it by multiplying them out. And you should know that when multiplying by conjugate, we can simply multiply the first term and the second term and proceed to simplification. So we have 3 times 3, which is 9, square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is square root of 4. Since it's positive and negative, it will remain negative. And by simplifying it, you have 9 minus 2, and 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So therefore, we are able to rationalize using the conjugate because our denominator is now a real number. So from 4 over 3 plus square root of 2, we rationalized it into 12 minus 4 square root of 2 all over 7.